Hey guys, and welcome to WTFN. I'm Annie. And I'm Scott. And let's lead in with some uh, E3 stuff. You're going to E3, right? I am going to E3. You excited? Uh, I'm very excited. Cool. It's going to be, I think, my seventh E3. I don't know. Uh, but Nintendo not doing an E3 press conference this year. We've already known that. But t at uh, the Nintendo Direct yesterday, they said that they're going to be doing E3 at Best Buy this year. What? Yeah. So they're going to set Why? up. Because it's Nintendo and they don't really know what they're doing. So they're going to set up a bunch of kiosks at uh, Best Buys around the country where you can play uh, some of the same games that are at the Nintendo booth during E3. So who knows? Like Maybe what? Well, they're, you know, we're supposed to be seeing the new 3D Mario, the new Smash Brothers, and you know another Mario Kart because it's Nintendo and they do that every year. So maybe you'll get to play that, but who knows? And no one really knows which stores are participating or when they will start showing up, but probably Ooh. around June 11th, I would think. Sounds like they really got it together. Really got it together, that yeah. Nintendo. Really on top of things. All right. Um, now, here's quite possibly the only thing that could ever make us care about the website LinkedIn. Yes. Um, they uh, have unfortunately banned prostitutes. What? Um, did you know that they were prostitutes on LinkedIn? One more time. What? Well, there were, um, but now it is it is banned. Aww. <laughs> um, I, I guess, you know, uh, previously prostitution was actually a tagged skill that you can select on LinkedIn. There are, there are huh. escorts who advertise their services on the site. Um, that is a profession. But they did just change their uh, privacy policy and user agreement and now explicitly bans escorts from using the site to get clients. Um, you can also, this is weird, um, you can list a whole other uh, set of unsavory skills such as uh, rape, Shoplifting, gangs, manslaughter, and drug trafficking. People can also endorse you for those skills. So that's good. Wow. <laughs> I, I hope no one endorses what? me for drug trafficking and manslaughter. You know, now that you said this, people are going to start endorsing you for rape. <laughs> <laughs> you know what they are. They are. God. Oh, there we go. Thanks. Good job, LinkedIn. Thanks, Internet. All right. Uh, moving on. Domino's. Domino's Pizza is uh, making your DVDs smell like pizza, mm. but only in Brazil. Mm. So there's a uh, Domino's has partnered up with the rental chain in Brazil. And when you buy a, or rent a DVD, they have this special heat sensitive ink on the DVD. Mm. So when you put it in your DVD player and it spins, your DVD player starts to smell like pizza. And then you pull out the DVD and it looks like a pizza. And it's all for Domino's. How much do you think that actually smells like a pizza, though? Well, it doesn't. Not very much. Not very much. It smells I like mean, a burning DVD. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> scratch and sniff technology has not come that far, and scratch and sniff pizza doesn't smell like pizza. Grape candy doesn't taste like grapes. Uh, this probably smells like garbage. Yeah, but you know, if you're in Brazil and you yeah. want to buy a copy of Argo or The Dark Knight Rises, that will yeah. make your apartment smell really weird. Yeah, and always have an ad it. for pizza. You got it. Yeah. So good job. Okay, so uh, remember uh, Newt Gingrich? Yes, um, I do. Yeah. I do remember Newt he, Gingrich. He was a uh, former presidential candidate, a Speaker of the House, Speaker of the House, a longtime Politico mm -hmm. uh, adversary of the Clintons, yes. um, and he's really puzzled about cell phones. Oh. Did you watch this whole thing? Yeah, this yeah. is like probably my favorite video of the week. <laughs> what do you call a cell phone? <laughs> it's not really a phone. You can use the internet on it, but you can also play games and take a picture. That's a camera yeah. and a game, and a, it's it, not a phone. The, the t actual title of the video was, We're Really Puzzled. We're really puzzled. Uh, here at Gingrich Productions, we've spent weeks trying to figure out, what do you call this? This device is something new and different. I've been calling it a handheld computer. When we first developed the automobile, it was called the horseless carriage. So we'd love to have your ideas and your thoughts. Please leave a comment. What would you call this? And as many YouTubers have pointed out in the comments, it's called a smartphone, yeah. um, and the comments are hilarious, so you should really just go go read them. It was good, yeah, good video. Really good. All right, last up, we have uh, another video, probably the coolest video of the week. Uh, Chris Hatfield has been on the space station for, for months now. He's been crying in space and squeezing out towels and doing all sorts of cool stuff on video for YouTube. He, on his last week, I guess it was his last couple of days on the space station, he did a cover of David Bowie's Space Oddity. It's pretty awesome. So uh, yeah, the we, first music video in space. First music video in space. So check it out. This is major time to ground control. I've left forevermore, and I'm floating in a most peculiar way. And the stars look very different today. 
That video was so good. I watched yeah. it like five times. Yeah, it's really good. In a row. Really um, and it actually wasn't that expensive to make. It was uh, about $30,000. Some guy calculated that based on the cost of being on that spaceship. And uh, all it's right. cheaper than most music yeah, videos. Yeah, we should shoot all music videos in space. Yeah. Yeah. You keep on looking behind you like there's someone. I know. I feel like there's, oh my god. Oh, wow. It's oh our associate god. producer, Todd. <laughs> How long have you been sitting back there? Oh, about two hours. Oh, wow. What's it hey like? Guys. Hey, Todd. <laughs> It's nice back here. It's pretty good. Cool. I enjoyed it. Well, Todd's here. This is becoming like a regular uh, WTFN thing where we introduce people who are you going to see in videos, uh, but not see in a video. Because Todd, little known fact about Todd, uh, aside from being an amazing associate producer, he also loves drawing on his etch a sketch, and and is phenomenal at it. Yeah, and There's nothing on it now. There's nothing on it now because he was, he's been back You're there just for two have hours. To use your imagination. He hasn't been etch sketching yeah. back there. He's just <laughs> no, waiting. He's just waiting. So he uh, he draws on the etch sketch all the time, and he saw our draw draw my life videos, and he said. Hey guys, I should do that on an etch a sketch. I mean, you could have said that right now because you're sitting right here, but you're not mic'd up, so I'll just do it for you. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, coming up in a couple of hours, uh, instead of a video from us, you're gonna see Todd's etch a, etch -a sketch my life. So I hope you guys enjoy it, and um, yeah, check it out. It's better than Scott's draw my life. <laughs> yeah, it is. And be prepared to feel very. Uh, inadequate about your own etch yeah. sketch skills. It also took how many hours? Wait, like ten total hours to make um, this? Yeah, about eight or nine hours of filming on the etch sketch Yeah, so appreciate what you see. All right, uh, until next week, uh, comment down below, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I'm Scott. I'm Annie. And we'll see you guys uh, tomorrow. <laughs>